The Tesla CEO has been vocal about his thoughts on the new EV company Rivian Motors, suggesting they are heading for bankruptcy. But what if he's wrong? They have the backing of Jeff Bezos, the third richest man on the planet, who just so happened to put in a massive order for 100,000 vehicles. And most important of all, deliveries of the R1T have started, and the reviews from customers are excellent. So, if Elon Musk is wrong, then Tesla has a massive problem, and it's only going to get worse. Today, we will look at why the Rivian R1T is so popular, and what Elon Musk has said at a recent event. It's no secret that Tesla is in the top spot for EV production, but the traditional manufacturers are piling on the pressure. Rivian is an electric car company that focuses on making vehicles for adventures. Their first two cars are an electric pickup truck and an electric SUV. Both of these vehicles were built for the wild. Rivian started deliveries of their EV pickup truck in 2021 and to date has delivered 2,425 cars, said RJ Scarringe, Rivian's CEO. Now the Rivian truck is being delivered and Elon Musk is feeling the heat. That's because customers are raving about it. The at Rivian R1T is amazing. It's crazy fast, like 830 horsepower fast. The fit and finish is second to none. This doesn't feel like a first gen EV product. This company is going to fly. Buy stock if you can. And the fans slash customers are as hardcore as Tesla's fanboys. I'm impressed. Hashtag Rivian. Rivian launched their R1T in late 2020, and it was an instant hit. It's the world's first all-electric adventure vehicle and offers a range of over 400 miles. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in under 3 seconds, putting it in the supercar category. It also has a maximum towing capacity of 11,000 pounds, making it ideal for towing a boat or trailer. It comes with a panoramic sunroof, 360-degree cameras, and a heads-up display that projects information onto the windshield. The R1T has a starting price of $67,500, and they managed to collect 83,000 pre-orders for the high-end EV. Rivian is backed by Amazon, which owns 20% of the company and has confirmed an order of 100,000 electric vans from the company. Amazon worked closely with the Rivian team to customize the vans to meet their requirements of being low maintenance, easy to access, and built for last mile delivery. This partnership is a huge boost for Rivian, giving it a cash injection of close to $2.5 billion and securing its place as a serious competitor to Tesla. Elon Musk has been vocal about his thoughts on Rivian and Amazon's involvement with the company. He called Jeff Bezos a copycat. I think the word copycat maybe doesn't quite reflect the situation, Rivian CEO RJ Scarringe said in an interview. We've been working on this product for a very long time. Rivian has been working on their R1T for over 10 years, and it shows in the quality of the product. For example, they have a gear tunnel, which is something totally new to the car industry. They have used some dead space between the passenger footwells and the truck bed as a full-length storage area for tools, skis, camping equipment, whatever really, and it is refreshing to see. Rivian is leading the way in sustainable and ethical manufacturing using recycled plastic extracted from the ocean in the manufacturing and logistics of its business. These things seem small, but with an environmentally conscious customer base, they will add up as reasons people will want to associate with the Rivian brand. Elon Musk is a cool cucumber for sure, but if you look close, it seems he and the Tesla team could be showing signs of concern. At the Cyber Rodeo, Tesla CEO Elon Musk only spoke about one vehicle, the Cybertruck. He rolled it out specifically and even apologized to the crowd for the delays. We have never seen him do anything like this before. He then emphasized how good the Cybertruck will be, referring to it as their magnum opus, which translates to masterpiece. 
Then Tesla lead designer Franz followed up by saying, There is no other truck. Everything else pales in comparison. This is the only one you need. Could this hint they are worried they delayed too much? And now the Rivian has launched. Their customers might just buy one of those instead. Rivian isn't the only company piling on the pressure in the truck category. Ford Motors has launched an EV version of their best-selling truck, the Ford F-150 Lightning. In 2022, they will produce 40,000 of these and intend to deliver another 150,000 in 2023. They have also committed to investing 50 billion into the EV space between now and 2026. But Ford has a huge head start as they have most of the infrastructure in place to start mass production. Rivian, on the other hand, has had to build everything from scratch. To speed up the release of the R1T, Rivian made a bad decision that would end up being costly. Rivian decided to outsource the design and build of their electric motors. Since the EV startup did not have to design, test and build its motors, it meant they would be able to get the electric pickup truck to market faster. Rivian has been shackled by this decision as we can see in their low production numbers and the company have now reversed this decision to bring their motor manufacturing in-house. They have also been a little unlucky too. Their defining year, the year they went public, was the year after a once in a hundred year pandemic that wreaked havoc on supply chains in every industry. Over the past two years, production disruptions have caused shortages and huge price increases for semiconductors used in the vehicle industry. This has hampered all vehicle manufacturers, but the ones with long-standing relationships with suppliers are seeing the benefit of this and getting chips first. Rivian, with new supplier relationships, limited trading history and low production numbers, are finding it impossible to compete. The Rivian CEO reduced their production expectations by half in response to supply chain challenges from 50,000 to just 25,000 in 2022 alone. We are no doubt experiencing one of the most challenging supply chain environments the automotive industry has ever seen, Scarringe said in an earnings call. Rivian isn't the only EV newcomer to feel the supply chain pains. Lucid Motors also slashed its production expectations to 12,000 vehicles from the original prediction of 20,000 vehicles in 2022. All of that being said, let's get into the specs of the Rivian. The electric vehicle industry is heating up and two of the most anticipated new entrants are the Rivian R1T and Tesla Cybertruck. Both are all-electric pickup trucks with unique designs and impressive performance figures. But why should you choose Rivian? Well, there isn't really a reason. It's up to you. Do you go for the smooth and minimalist R1T or the blazingly wild design of the Cybertruck? Can you wait it out patiently for what is certainly going to be an impressive Tesla truck but has an ever-flexible delivery date? Or do you want one ASAP? The competition is much closer than even we had originally anticipated and more competition means one thing for the end consumer – better prices and better products. The rivalry between Tesla and Rivian has been going on for a long time. Tesla is now the old guard and Rivian still has a lot to prove as they continue their journey through what Elon Musk describes as production hell to reach mass production without going bankrupt in the process. Each firm has its own style of producing electric vehicles and each has a devoted following. However, what matters most is not which brand you like, but rather that you bought an electric vehicle and are part of the solution to save planet Earth. Let us know in the comments what you plan on getting. And if you have an EV truck already, help others by letting them know about your experience. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you can join us next time as a Velocity subscriber by clicking the subscribe button and turning on that bell.